I'm Joe from C10 Vatos. We're here to talk about my 76 C10 Cheyenne, El Patron. El Patron means the boss. I actually put a poll up on uh, Instagram. I posted up, what should we name the truck? And I'd have to go back and see who really thought, who brought up that name. And I, it just kind of stuck. It, it was from the first time I saw it, El Patron, the boss. It's catchy, it's cool. It just stuck with the truck. Uh, the vehicle was purchased out of California. Looks solid in the pictures. It needed a little bit more work than we anticipated. First thing uh, when we got the truck was we assessed the whole situation and uh, figured out we wanted to lower it. We wanted a, a lower, good riding truck. That's when we reached out to our friends at TCI Engineering, uh, contacted them about their new C10 suspension they had just come out with. It's a C10 Pro Touring bolt-on kit. Uh, the front is uh, IFS, comes with tubular upper and lower control arms, heavy duty truck spindles, uh, rack and pinion, it incorporates RideTech uh, single adjustable coilovers. Uh, rear suspension is also from TCI Engineering, it's their C10 four link bolt on kit. Uses most of the factory holes, also incorporates a RideTech uh, single adjustable coilover. All the suspension we handled over at my uh, friend Steve Abner's. He's got a, a shop at his house and uh, it was kind of like one of those long weekend projects. Actually it did take us, I think we did it in two days, we knocked it out. Real simple instructions are real easy to follow. Everything bolted right on like it should. It, I mean I couldn't be happier with the kit itself. It does come with brakes. We did opt to upgrade the brakes to a larger setup from AZ Pro Performance. After the suspension, we decided to do, we wanted to pick a, a period correct looking wheel. We went with the American Racing VF 527s, 22 8.5s in the front, 22 10.5s in the rear. They roll on Toyo tires. The fronts are 265 35s and the rears are 285 35 22s. After we received the truck, we put about 25 30 miles on it and we developed a major issue with the engine. Uh, I reached out to my friend Mike over at Vintage Motors and we were looking at doing a crate engine and he recommended doing a LS swap. So he kind of specializes in that. It's, so it has a Vintage Motors 5.3 LS swap with a 4L60. Mike went through it and just rebuilt it. It's, it's just a fresh, resealed everything. We wanted to keep it budget friendly. We did some headman headers, uh, running a painless harness a cold air intake, a uh, full exhaust obviously, and then Brad uh, did the tuning. We've put a couple thousand miles on the truck since it's been done and we really enjoyed it. We think it's honestly the best route to go. When we received the truck, the body had a little bit more rust than we really wanted. We didn't mind the patina, but we didn't want big holes. So I got a game plan going with Dan Hogan over at Hoagie Shines. We had metal work done by Metal Ox Fab he repaired all the lower rust and uh, fender corners, stuff like that. My buddy Hubcap did uh, custom inner tubs for the front end and some cover panels in the engine compartment. Then we shipped the truck back to Dan Hogan. He went through and just sealed the paint. He actually did the two-tone. The truck was originally all blue. Uh, it looked like a giant Smurf. So we Wanted to break it up and uh, add some white to it, give it more of that classic look. Dan went through and did an amazing job doing the patina. Uh, added actually some more blue because it was a little really worn in some spots. So he color matched some, added some more blue and, and then added the patina white and sealed it in a flat clear coat. Gives it that killer OG look and uh, it shows all that all the patina that's on there and the little rust spots are that that's original to the truck interior incorporates a couple different companies i use the tmi bench uh, tmi interiors uh, bench and dash and then had daniel bell upholstery here in town uh, do the carpet kick panels and headliner and wrapped all the interior to finish it off uh, also, the truck uses the D Dakota Digital RTX gauges, has kind of the vintage look. We can't kept the, like the factory bezel and everything. So it's kind of a blend of old and new, uh, just to kind of keep the OG look going, but a little with a little custom touch. For audio, I just decided to do a little bit different than normal. I actually went 
I wanted real low key on this truck. I did a Kenwood Bluetooth amp. Uh, it's hidden in the ashtray. Uh, did six and a half coaxials in the front and six by nines in the back. Just real simple. Click on, uh, works right off my phone. Super easy to use. When we developed the engine issue and we decided to do the LS swap, we also wanted to add comfort to the vehicle, to the truck. So we want to make it drivable year round. We did a vintage air C10 kit on it. That incorporated with the all American billet front drive system. It works perfect together. We also sealed, resealed the cab with precision replacement parts and added new glass from State 48. So right after paint and body, we wanted to add a couple of custom touches to it. We uh, opted for a little bit of billet dress up. We did a uh, rad machining, made us our custom fender plaques for with the truck's name El Patron and also added little uh, knobs and stuff from All American Billet just to give it a little bit of a little shine to it. C10 Vatos, uh, it's something I started uh, 2015. Uh, I was at Dino's Get Down and I was looking at a banner they had and they had all the names of all the big brands out there. And I was sitting there talking to Dino and I told him, you know what you're missing? C10 Vatos and he turns around and he was like so pumped about it. He goes, you need to do that, that's super catchy. It, it's great, people are gonna love it. And from that day on, I started that Instagram page that day and it's just kind of taken off from there. Uh, it's really more of just a brand and a lifestyle. We try to enjoy what we do, enjoy this hobby. We all do it because we love it, you know. It's, uh, trucks are always gonna be a part of my life, whether I have a brand or not. But for now, I do uh, enjoy the support and, and all the fans and all our amigos, as I call them. You know, when we go to shows, I love when people come by, say hi, and I try to provide a little entertainment. Uh, special thanks to definitely all the companies that have helped us out, that have worked with us, that have helped us do giveaways, stuff like that. Uh, definitely want to thank Grinder Brian has been a big, big influence in uh, helping me build my brand. American Racing, TCI, Travis AZ Pro Performance, Hoagie Shines, uh, Mike at Vintage Motors. Obviously the truck wouldn't be where it's at without him. Uh, he's always been my fall two guy when I got a question. Uh, Brad, he helps me with all my technical questions, State 48. Future plans, um, man, we're gonna drive it for now. Possibly maybe upgrade the engine now that we've kind of gotten a couple LS swaps uh, that we've done. Uh, I definitely want to bump up the horsepower a little bit. We have another project we're working on now that is going to be the next level up. So uh, we don't want to let up a trunk fall behind. So who knows, maybe a supercharger or something down the road. Oh.